The Kangaroo Omni Internal Feeding Pump has the ability to administer nutrition in different ways. In a separate video, we broke down how to program the pump to deliver a continuous infusion of nutrition. But there are other times that you may need to program the pump to deliver bolus or intermittent feedings. The Omni is able to do this as well, but you'll need to know how to navigate some menus and additional settings in order to complete this task. In this video, we'll walk through programming the Omni pump to deliver a bolus feeding schedule. Begin by gathering your supplies, the pump, the tubing, and the ordered nutritional formula. Fill your flush bag with water and connect your formula bottle. For more details on this process, refer to the Omni setup and continuous feed programming video. Now look at your orders for feeding in Epic. If the patient has bolus feedings, the order will indicate this and include a few vital pieces of information. You should have a bolus volume. How much nutrition does the patient receive with each feed? A feed rate. How fast will the nutrition run? Feed intervals. How often does the patient receive feedings? And potentially, the duration of feedings. How many feedings is the patient to receive? This may not be included in your order unless the patient has an end time ordered for feedings, and then you may need to do some quick calculations to figure out how many are left. We'll touch on that shortly. You'll have flush information for volume and interval as well. For our programming example, we'll say our order says the patient will receive 300 milliliter feeds over two hours, and they are to receive this four times per day. They should receive a 30 milliliter flush every three hours. We'll also say that the patient is to be NPO for a procedure starting at midnight tonight. With your tubing set up and attached, and your bolus order information on hand, move to your pump. From the main screen, push More Options, then use the arrows to scroll down and highlight Intermittent Mode and change the setting to on by pressing select. Intermittent mode equals bolus feeds. Push done to go back to the main programming screen. Push adjust feed. This is where we'll input our order information. On the left are your options for programming, and on your right is your information on your current program. Let's start with adjust volume. We said our order was to deliver 300 milliliters per bolus. Enter that volume here using the arrows. Tapping a plus or minus will increase or decrease the value by 1. Holding down either button will change the value more rapidly. Push OK when you've dialed in the correct amount. Next, push Adjust Rate. Our order said to administer this bolus over 2 hours, which isn't giving us the rate, but we can figure it out. Some orders may specify the rate, but if it only gives you duration, as we have here, you'll have some math to perform. If we need to deliver 300 milliliters over 2 hours, you divide the total value in milliliters, that's 300 milliliters here, by the duration of the infusion in hours, that's 2 hours with our example. This gives us 150 milliliters per hour. That's our rate. Input that value. If you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see that the number of feeds is currently set to 1. That's the preset. That means they'll receive the bolus one time, and then the program will be completed. If you want to program a schedule to continue for a longer period of time, you'll need to turn up the number of feeds. Press that option. If you want to continue this regular bolus schedule indefinitely, you can program the pump to run up to 99 boluses before running through the program. And that should outlast any standard patient's inpatient visit to a hospital. But if it does run its course and you still need to continue boluses, just program the pump again. When you change number of feeds to anything other than one, you get a new programming option, Adjust Interval. Choose that option. We know that our patient is supposed to receive this bolus four times per day. Again, that doesn't give us a specific interval, so we'll need some math. But it is possible that your order may clearly specify the intervals in hours. Then you can skip the math step, but we didn't get that here, so there are 24 hours in a day. Over that 24 hours, we want to evenly space four feedings. Take the total number of hours in a day, 24, and divide by the total number of boluses in a day, 4, to give you the total number of hours between boluses, in this case, 6 hours. Input that into the pump. We would be done programming the feed, except that we also know that the patient should stop receiving nutrition after midnight. We'll say it's noon right now. If we want the pump to automatically stop the bolus feeds before midnight, we can adjust the number of feeds to reflect that. There are 12 hours left in this day. We know that we have a bolus every 6 hours. Total number of hours left in the day, 12, divided by frequency of the bolus in hours, 6, 
gives us the total number of bolus feeds, in this case, two. So change the number of feeds to two. When you push start, it will deliver the first bolus now, over two hours. And then, in six hours, it'll do that again. Remember, our bolus takes two hours to deliver. So if the patient is NPO at midnight, the bolus must be finished by midnight. It has to start no later than 10 p.m. If it's noon now, the second bolus will begin at 6 p.m. and finish at 8. Then the pump will alert us that the program has finished, and we will be able to turn it off until we get orders to restart the feedings. Now push Adjust Flush. We need to input the volume, 30 milliliters, and the interval, every 3 hours, from our order. Input that information the same way we put in all the other values. Push Done to navigate out of the Adjust Flush screen. And on the main screen, you should see Ready to Feed, and have the option to start the feeding schedule. Press Start. Your bolus schedule is now running. You can also see all our feed information on the screen, and by pushing Show Flush, you can see your flush information. Your pump is now programmed to deliver a timed bolus of nutrition to your patient. Great work!